Okay, so what I am making here is a solar panel, and I am not going to go into all kinds of details of all of the um, basic stuff that you can find anywhere on YouTube. But one of the things I did not see is um, some of the little tiny detail things and the completion. So this will be a series of videos, and hopefully um, we'll take it from actually building the collector all the way to hook up and turning the hot water on, which I don't haven't been able to seem to find the um, hookup of like the controls and that type of stuff. So this is a very basic. I'm sure people can do a lot better than me. That's fine. This is hopefully will work for me. So let me point out some of the things here. Obviously, this is the collector. I ended up with 16 riser tubes. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, I will move the camera a little closer or I can zoom in. I'm not a professional cameraman, so bear with me. So you can see that last one right there. Uh, it drops down. That's actually the return. So the way I'm setting it up is your cold will go in there. Uh, and I'm sure you've seen a lot of these on YouTube. So it'll go across that bottom um, uh, pipe there, which is one of the manifolds. It'll go up all the riser tubes, so that'll be the top up there. And then it'll go out over there into three-quarter. So my inlet manifold and my riser at the top, the outlet manifold, those are both three-quarter inch. And all the risers are half inch. Now you notice that last one going down is three-quarter because that is actually the hot return that will go back down and then it's going to cut across at the bottom of the box and they will both exit the box in one location. So it'll make it very convenient and easy uh, when you install it. In my case it's going to be on a roof so it'll make it nice and easy. They'll both the cold will go in the hot will come out all in one location. And the reason why I did that, and I got that from some ideas of people on YouTube, so thank you for all the videos I watch from other people, is that return is going to be inside the box as well. So it'll, you know, save all the heat it can before it actually exits. Uh, and then I will transfer to PEX and go the rest of the way. So there's the box over here, uh, right there. That's actually the bottom of it. I just painted it with some old paint that I got for free somewhere. Obviously this is... Uh, uh, we want to make this as cost effective as possible. Um, that's the bottom. One important thing that I would definitely, and I know a lot of people have recommended it too, is do a dry fit. So I've already had this inside the box. And um, actually, I will pause the video. I'll put it back in so you can see um, exactly how close it is. You do not want to solder anything until you put it in. So nothing here is soldered. This is just setting here.